So this is it for my three month subscription of Loot Anime. Has it finally gotten any better? Or is this strike three you're out of here? Let's find out on... Konnichiwa minasan, genki desu ka? I'm Dave and today we are going to be unboxing month three of three of my three month subscription to Loot Anime. This is the last chance they have to impress me. Right now I have already cancelled my subscription so let's see if this changes my mind. So before I get started with this month's loot anime, if you want to look at the previous loot anime crates that I unboxed, click up here and you can see last month's crate which was Enchant and the month before which was Brawl. I like Enchant a little bit, I really like the scarf from Fairy Tail that was in there, but I did not like that first crate which was Brawl. I thought it, all, most of the items were really bad, there was only really one thing that I didn't like. Again, bandages! <laughs> Come on, loot anime. So let's get started with this month's crate. So from the get-go, I like this uh, nice design. Um, I didn't mention it, but this month's crate is equipped. The theme equip. Who knows what that <laughs> means. Um, so there is a little treasure box, I guess. A chest and a keyhole. Something here. You think it, the, this design would be suited better outside. And then you'd like, you know, open, open it up. It's very confusing. So, from the get-go, you see Scissor Blade. I wonder what that could be. It is a Kill a Kill t-shirt. That's pretty cool. I love Kill a Kill. Kill a Kill is a fantastic anime. If you haven't seen it, highly recommended. So here is the Scissor Blade shirt. I, I like it. I think it's a little plain. I, I see how it fits with the theme equip so you know uh, Ryuko has her sword and she equips her sword so yeah let's try it on see how it fits so here is the shirt on it's not too bad I like the shirt I'll definitely wear it yeah this is pretty cool there's nothing on the back but of the three shirts the first shirt being Akatsuki the second shirt being Roka no Yusha this shirt being Kill a Kill uh, I think this is the best shirt of the three um, but the design could be better but overall not too bad let's move on to the next item so here we have an Akame ga Kill something let's see what it is it is an Akame ga Kill bag <laughs> Uh, I mean, I, I guess, that's like, I, I can't hate on it too bad because this is an, a nice bag, but I don't ever see myself using it. If you can see the designs, these are the several weapons each of the main character has. I think Akame's sword is this one right here. Uh, but yeah, this, this is not too bad. Nothing on the back side. Let's check out the next item. Our next item is... It is a Rathalos Sword Pen Replica. Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Let's see it. Whoa! Look at that! Wow, look at that detail. Let us take it out a little closer. Whoa! That, I gotta say, that is really cool. This is the first time I am extremely impressed with an item. I, where else would you find something like this? Now it said it was a pen. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, holy crap. That, that's, that's the pen. <laughs> I have to say I've probably never used this to write anything, but this is pretty cool. This fits the theme very well. And I like it a lot. So, and the packaging, look at that, that's so cool. So up next we have Haichu. So another candy item, just like last month, we had those sugar candies. And this is grape flavor. Uh, I've had a lot of Haichus in my time. Um, grape is probably my least favorite flavor. You know, you always get like strawberry and I, or mango or like, I think there's like watermelon flavors. Um, but Haichu, this is pretty cool. Okay, so up next we have 
A scouter! I've seen these in Japanese stores, uh, in Japanese, uh, in various Japanese stores that I've been to, and I never bought one. I've always wanted to buy one, cause but I think I was like, uh, who, you know, I don't, I don't know if I should. But now I got one in this month's loot anime, and again, um, this is pretty cool. So let's try it out. See what color I got. I got a green one. Alright, so here is the Dragon Ball Z Scouter, as you can see. It looks pretty cool from the side, definitely looks like the Scouter. Um, it's not too bad, it is like a cheap plasticky thing, but, you know, overall, it's, it is kind of cool, right? Uh, I don't know <laughs> how long I could wear, I'm kind of getting, like, kind of dizzy with having this thing on my face, and it fits kind of... It's kind of weird, but overall not too bad. Definitely could go with like a uh, Dragon Ball Z type cosplay and look pretty good. So overall I am impressed with this item. So Loot Anime seems to be insistent in, in including a phone charm in every single case. Here is another one. Again, it has Loot Anime on the back side. Um, how many phones does Loot Anime think I have? How many phones do I want to equip? And the phone charm is not, it doesn't look like it's from any uh, particular anime, so that's, again, weird. Uh, stop putting these <laughs> in these packages. I mean, if they don't cost anything, sure, I guess. But, yeah, I'm really just piling upon these phone charms, and they really have no use. And the last piece in the inside the crate is copied from the manga. Steins Gate. Um, I actually haven't seen this anime. I've heard great things right now. It it was previously in IGN Anime Club's watch party. I didn't watch it then because I didn't have time. Um, but here it looks like the first volume of the manga. This is pretty cool. I don't have this manga. I've heard good things about the anime so I definitely might uh, read this and hopefully it will get me into watching the anime so that's nice so this is really cool I'm not sure how it fits in the theme of equipped I don't really know what this is about something about time travel without spoiling it maybe you guys in the comments can tell me what Steins Gate would have to do with the theme equipped but again this is pretty cool I don't like that they branded it as a loot crate exclusive though Unless you can't buy this m manga in English any other place than from this loot anime subscription. But it's really cool that they finally included something like this. Uh, they didn't have a manga in the last box. In the first box they had uh, the first volume of Nanatsu no Taizai, Seven Deadly Sins. So this is pretty cool. And as always with every loot anime box crate includes a poster, exclusive poster, that shows off everything inside. Here is the description again. It's uh, uh, art from nothing in particular, which is nothing wrong with that. And on the back is everything that came inside the crate. Again, exclusive phone charm. Ah, phone charms. Phone charms. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, high Chew Candy. They have different flavors. I got the grape one. If you got this month's loot anime, tell me what flavor you got. I'd be curious to know if it was the same or if it was different. Again, just a recap of everything you got. I love the pe Monster Hunter pen. Really, really, really cool. Yeah, but that's, that's everything. That is everything. So, there you have it. Overall, I am slightly impressed. <laughs> Overall, of the three, this is the best crate that they've put out. Uh, if Loot Anime have consistently been this way from the beginning, I might have stuck around a little longer. Unfortunately, it is pretty expensive. Of the three months, it's a, it was like slightly under a hundred dollars for a three month subscription. Like I said, I like this crate the best. This is a cool shirt. I love the pen. The scouter is really cool. Steins Gate manga is really cool. Uh, over, overall of this crate, I really liked it. So if you think this was a good value and if you like the other crates, 
I could probably, based on this crate alone, I think I would recommend Loot Anime. But factoring in the first month and the second month, I probably wouldn't. But as you've seen, the the trend has gotten better from crate to from crate to crate. So this crate is the best one yet. Is the third crate uh, ever. So it's nice to see that they are improving. Um, they are listening to fan feedback with their surveys. Overall, I like I said, I think this crate was really good. And but. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to stay with uh, canceling my subscription mainly because next month is March and my March shipment is really large and I've spent a lot of money. Um, I don't think I can just uh, justify spending more money on some, on you know random items and that. Um, I'm I'm glad I tried loot anime. There are a couple items that I'm glad I have that I wouldn't have gotten otherwise, like this scarf. So, I mean, without Loot Anime, I wouldn't have gotten this scarf, and I really, really like this scarf. This was from last month's Loot Anime crate. Um, but, yeah, I mean, tell me if you guys liked what you saw here. Tell me if you guys got this must loot crate, and if you're going to uh, subscribe or continue to subscribe, I definitely want to know, because... This is probably the last crate I'm going to get for at least a little while. I definitely want to see what future cra uh, anime crates come down the line. And hopefully they continue this trend of getting better and better with each loot anime crate. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments below, questions. I'd like to hear from you guys. I also got my Japan crate this month. And I have a video of that. You can check out the link up here in the corner to see all the cool things I got there. I was really impressed with that crate. And I definitely will order again from them in the future. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys again next time. Johnny.